So I just first two days. Um, how's camp going so far for you guys? It's been an awesome camp so far. We got two days under our belt. Uh, this summer was really good, and I could see all the work paying off. But the uh, team's looking really good, off to a really hot start, and uh, everyone's meshing really well. Offense looks awesome, defense looks awesome. Like all three phases of the game, we're looking really good this year. Um, and then obviously, you guys have a lot of returners coming back um, in the linebacking core um, and the whole front um, part of the defense. Um, but could you talk a little bit about the young guys and the development that you've seen in them, um, you know, over the summer and then as the beginning of camp? Oh, the development's been awesome. The linebackers we brought in are really, really good guys, and they're uh, taking everything in really well, soaking it all in. It's really good to look at, have a big older class to look at and to learn from because, like, the older guys know how to do it. And then to be able to be taught by the older guys as well as your, by your teammates is really well is really good as well. And then uh, the young D-line, those guys look good. I think all the fresh this freshman class we brought in is a really talented class, and they have a lot of potential to get on the field this year. Um, and then uh, building off of, you know, last year, um, you were coming into the season with a lot of preseason accolades, a lot of people expecting huge things from you. How does that, um, I don't know, just how do you take that and how does that change your approach um, as you go into the season? Uh, I don't really pay attention to it at all. My biggest goal here is to win a championship, and that's all that matters to me. I could have all the accolades in the world, but my only goal that I want to do is win a championship here with my brothers. And... It ain't about me. None of that stuff matters, and getting a ring is all I care about. Recording in progress. Uh, last thing for me, then, um, the uh, media um, from the Mountain West does not expect that to happen, um, picking you third in the West Division. Um, other teammates have spoken about extra motivation for that, but just what is your kind of just feeling in response to um, that preseason selection? Well, we got a chip on our shoulder. We always play the chip on our shoulder, and the whole team has seen that. And we like to prove people wrong. That's what we've always been – like I said, our foundation is always proving everyone wrong, and this team wants to prove everyone wrong this year. All the reporters, all the fans, everybody want to prove everyone wrong That to show them what the Aztecs are really about. Terrific. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. And we'll go to Troy. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Right on. Uh, good to see you. And uh, continue on that chip on your shoulder. Was there a little bit of a sting on this team last year uh, with the way you started versus the way you finished and, and not finishing as strong as maybe you probably wanted to? Last year's season was not up to our expectations at all as well. Our team wants to win the Mountain West Conference Championship every single year, and 4-4 four and four doesn't cut it. So this year, this whole off season, this summer, this winter, we've been looking at that and we've wanting to be undefeated this year. That's our only goal is to win the championship. So... That, that year last year has really fueled the fire a lot. That's not up to our expectations at all, and we're going to take big strides from that this season. I know uh, your first game is against New Mexico State. I'm sure that's 100% of your focus, but if I could get 0.5% of your focus to look at your schedule ahead with the, the Utahs and the other teams that are on your schedule, if you are able to run the table, that would say quite a bit about this team, wouldn't you think? Yes, sir. I believe we have all the capability to run tables versus everybody this year. Just got to take it week by week and one opponent at a time. Every week is a new week, and every team can beat us, and we can beat every team. So that's how we're going to take it. Caden, is there a little bit of, I want to say maybe a little bit more of a relaxed atmosphere this year with not as heavy of COVID protocols and things being back to normal? Do you see a little bit maybe a looseness about the team and maybe a little bit more relaxed being able to focus on playing football versus the concerns of health and that sort of thing? I wouldn't say it's more of a relaxed thing. It's more of just the focus has focused more on football and that's what we've all wanted. That's what we came here to do. We came here to get a degree and play football and now that we get to do that again and not have to worry about all the COVID pro protocols and jumping through all the hoops just to play football all of our focus, we haven't relaxed at all. We're turning it up another level and just focusing strictly on football and to be the best team that we can be. And then finally, with the new name, image, and likeness uh, rules that are out there, has there been any talk among the players about opportunities that may exist? And if so, uh, how you may be handling it if somebody approaches you or, or maybe just from your perspective, are you interested in that? Are you looking into that? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, I haven't really talked to any of the teammates or anything about it. I haven't been too focused on it. I'm just I think everyone's more focused on playing football and winning the championship. But if those opportunities come, you kinda just take it as it is and just take it just kinda play it by ear. 
but I think everyone is more focused on winning the championship and stuff rather than making money off the field. Thank you for your time, Kate. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Troy. Next up, Kurt Kenny. Hey, Caden. I think it's pretty rare for a player to just walk in and, and become a starter. What did you have to do early on as an Aztec to kind of learn your way, find your way, and that enabled you to get to where you are now? Uh, well, when you first get here, you got to learn the Aztec way of how the Aztecs do everything. There's a certain clear-cut way of how this program runs, and if you don't do it how we run it, how it functions – you don't last very long here. So first, you got to learn how we do everything around here, and then you got to just pay attention. If you learn as a defensive guy, you got to learn the defense. If you don't know your plays, you can't play. And then so you got to learn all your defensive stuff, learn all your plays. Then you get an opportunity to get on the field, and then that's just the first step. Now you got to actually make plays, work all in the off season, work on the field, give 100% effort all the time. I think that's the best way to get on the field is doing those things, cutting down the minor mistakes and stuff, and taking care of your body and also getting good grades and that's the best way to get on the field also is you got to have good grades to even get on the field i'm sure coming out of high school you probably thought you were working hard what was the biggest adjustment for you and what was the biggest surprise when you did transition to college uh the biggest transition to college is the the fast guys got faster and the big guys got faster is what i noticed but from my first practice i was a an eye opener coming from texas the workouts and stuff we were kind of trained a different way than most of the people would say and uh but the biggest thing is, is everyone is a great athlete on the field everyone is supposed to be there and is supposed to be playing college football so it's definitely a different change of pace for sure were there any guys in particular who mentored you and what can you say about what they did for you uh ron lee laka laka was a mentor to me kiava really took me under his wing there his la his senior year his junior senior year uh, I got to room with him in the hotels when we travel, and I always picked his brain the whole time he was there. And he was always telling me, next man up. And, like, he was our guy for two full seasons, and I always just kind of learned how he did things because he obviously did it the right way, and he was a great stand-up guy as well. And so I kind of followed his lead, and he followed Ron Lee's lead. And, uh, but those two guys as well, I mean, those two guys are really big uh, role models for me. And I got to speak to Calvin Munson. I've reached out to him a few times, and I've connected with him on how to do things around here and how it goes, which has been awesome. Those guys are awesome role models and great young men as well. Was there any particular game or moment where you said, okay, now I know that I belong? Uh, UCLA, uh, my red shirt sophomore year. I didn't start that game, but after the first series, I played the rest of the snaps, and that was like my first – I opener game like hey like this is the real deal like I'm I fit right in these guys aren't any better than I am like I hear at the Aztecs we're a group of five school we always get shamed on for being that but we go and smack all these power five schools around that's when I realized like hey we're the real deal here and I can hang with these guys was there a particular play in that game that stands out to you that you made mm, I got that fumble recovery that was nice that really my parents were really happy about that too that's what that was a really cool play but uh, I was on the field for that that last play when Kiava and Troy uh, hit the running back in the backfield to close out the game, and that was uh, that was a really cool experience there in the Rose Bowl. That was always one of the places I wanted to play growing up as a child. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kirk. I'm looking around to see if we have any more questions. Yeah, hey, Jamie Lee. Uh, Go ahead, Lee. Uh, jump in here. Hey, Caden, uh, the, the great success over the last decade the Aztecs have had defensively. Uh, obviously, Rocky built it, and Brady's back to do it again. How complex is this defense? Does it take a special type of player to be able to do what the Aztecs have, have become so good at? Yeah, our defense is built on like grit and guys that want to work and are, are selfless guys. Guys aren't, aren't me guys that want to do the best for the team. Not every play and every call is designed for you to make the play, so you need to do your job for your teammate to make the play. That's the kind of guys this defense needs. Hard workers, guys that are gritty, mean, chippy guys that are knowledgeable as well in the game but aren't me guys and wanting to make every single play and make everything about them. It's about your, guy, your Aztec warrior next to you. That's what it's mainly about. And last year was so fractured with the limited spring and the, the canceled summer and then the late start. 
and then a four and four season. How hard was it? Because that was not Aztec football. Uh, it was difficult because, I mean, everyone was going through the same stuff we are, so there's no excuses to make. Everyone went through the same COVID protocols we did and all the junk that we had to do, but that's what we had to do. It did make things more difficult nonetheless because we didn't get to do the development that we usually do in the off season and spring football and the summer. We didn't get that, that. That's usually a time where we build our team. That's when the like Aztecs like really make the team. And uh, losing that time really hurt us a lot. But coming this season, we got the full winter, full spring football, full summer, and we're ready to rock and roll for this season. I'm wondering after the, the seasons you've had so far, if you have any individual goals or personal goals that you've set for yourself coming into this season? Um, well, personally, I want to I wanna be an all-conference receiver. Um, I feel like it's been a while since we've been able to do that. We definitely have the talent. Um, so there's no reason for me not to be able to do that, especially with this offense. We're spreading the ball out, uh, throwing it more. So um, that's definitely up there for me. But uh, other than that, I'm not too focused on other individual goals. Uh, I just focus on winning the championship, doing my part on the team, and uh, doing whatever I can to help this team win the championship. Was there a little bit of a, a sting on this team from last year after the way you started versus the way you finished at 4-4 four and four and, and maybe not having the season that you wanted to have last year? Is there still some sting from that season with you guys? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, throughout the offseason, we've been looking at 4-4 four and four on a bulletin board. Uh, we know that's not our standard. We know that uh, that's not how we play Aztec football here. That's not what we expect out of ourselves. We expect to be uh, competing in uh, the conference championship game, going to bowl games. And uh, we just weren't up to our standard last year, but no, we've been uh, we've had that chip on our shoulder throughout the throughout the off season. So I think we're pretty fueled up and ready to go for this year. Is there literally a four and four on a bulletin board somewhere in the locker room? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been looking at that during the off season. Uh, just the extra fuel. Um, you know, we don't want to repeat that. That's not our standard. We expect to be in the double digit win category um, in a bowl game and uh, conference championship. Everybody wants to know who's going to be the starting quarterback. Give us your insight. Who's the starter? Um, I mean, there's no one declared right now. Uh, we're all, they're all out there competing. Jordan, Lucas, uh, and uh, Jalen. Uh, they all look great. Uh, we got the full offseason with them. We've been able to mesh with them, uh, getting that extra work in. Um, but they all look great. They finally got the playbook down, and um, I'm really excited to see uh, – who wins that job, and whoever it is, I'm, I'm confident in them. I was just going to ask, do you, do you have confidence that each, any one of those three as a starter could turn you into that all-conference receiver that you want to be? Yes. Uh, like I said, we've been working with them throughout the offseason, getting that extra work in, uh, getting that timing down, and I feel like we're, we're meshing pretty well, um, and they're all very capable, very athletic, very, uh, their arm their, they have uh, the arm talent, and uh, yeah, I'm confident with whoever we put out there. Can I put you on the spot and ask you who throws the best ball? Uh, I don't want to play favorites here, so sure. I'll say they're all they're all great. You're a smart receiver. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much for your time, Jesse. Good Thank you. Season. Thank you. Thank Thank you for that, Troy. Uh, next up, Paul. Hey, Jesse. Um, we've heard the coaches over you know the past months talk about how difficult it was to install a new offense last year given the, all of the constraints and practice etc um could you just take us from your perspective what was that like you know being able to line up in proper formations only nine days before the first game and what do you think that did to slowing the development of the offense well obviously it's tough when you can't go out there and walk through it um and really run through it we had to go through Zoom last year and kind of learn the offense virtually. And um, obviously you're not going to be as effective if you're not going through it and going full speed and getting that timing down. So that was definitely a challenge. Um, but this year we have no excuse. You know, we've been, we've been working it all year. Um, we all know the offense now, and I think we're going to be ready to go hit the ground and run. So then what are some of those differences between, you know, last year and this year where you're hitting the ground running and you're doing it? Has there been anything noticeable that has jumped out to you? I think just the timing and uh, just having the knowledge of, of the, the playbook and the concepts we're running. Um, you know, when you're thinking about what you have to do or you're thinking about your job, you're not going to be going as fast as, as, as you can. Um, 
but when you when you know the playbook um, and you know what you're supposed to do, you're going to be going full speed, and it's just going to be kind of an effortless thing, and you're not really thinking about uh, your job. You just know what you have to do. Um, and then you mentioned the, the summer work that took place. Um, how would you just grade your guys' summer, the independent work that you guys were able to do and um, that you guys got, got done? Um, I would give us an A. I'm going to say we put in, we put in great work. Um, you know, having having this summer um, in the spring and um, just having that opportunity to work, like, with ourselves and uh, putting that extra work, is I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be big for us. So I'm excited to see what we do this year. Um, and, and then you talked about wanting to be an all-conference receiver. What, what have you specifically been focusing on in your game to uh, kind of attain that level? Um, I've been working in, with my footwork off the line, um, pr- trying to work on my speed, um, create separation, uh, make myself an easy target for the quarterbacks. But uh, I think if, if I got the opportunities to catch the ball, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch it most of the time. And uh, just getting those opportunities, um, and uh, that's that's basically it. Just I need the ball in my hands, and I'll do the rest. Um, last question for me: uh, as as a San Diego kid, um, you know you obviously have a different perspective on the stadium and what it'll mean for the community. Could you just speak about the new stadium that um, is being built in Mission Valley, and, and just your perspective on it? It's exciting. Um, obviously, SDSU hasn't had its own stadium, um, so this stadium being built for us. Uh, you know, having the SD in the in the middle of the stadium, uh, it's really really exciting. Whenever I drive on the eight, uh, going home, and I see all the construction that's being done, it's it's very exciting. So, um, I'm just I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, having having our home fans there, uh, being able to play in San Diego, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for that, Paul. Um, any other questions? Yeah, hi, Jesse. This is Lee Hamilton. How strange was it to play in Carson last year with virtually nobody there except maybe family members? Um, yeah, there was. We had no one in the stands except except for our um, our players. So it was definitely a strange atmosphere. Um, you know, it's definitely something that you you have a hard time getting used to. Uh, just that empty. They had they were pumping crowd noise, but you know you don't feel that same energy from the fans. So it was definitely a, a, a tough adjustment. Um, but like I've said before, like if if there's a football field and we're lining up across somebody, um, there's really no excuse not to do our job. So um, it was definitely it was it was strange, but I'm excited to have the fans back this year and get that energy going for us. We saw at the end of the season how well Jordan played, kind of coming off the bench stone cold. Yeah, and we saw Lucas had that good quarter or so before he got dinged up how hard was it to have actually go through three quarterbacks last season and have no continuity at all um i mean it's definitely it's not the easiest thing um when you're not able to create that that chemistry like going into the going into the season because all the covid protocols and we were on zoom for a while um but i think once jordan started getting the hang of it and we started getting that chemistry down i think we started to mesh and um but yeah, it was tough because we didn't have that one one solid guy. We had to keep going through quarterbacks uh, due to injuries and stuff like that. But um, I think this year it's going to be good because we're just working with all the quarterbacks and whoever whoever steps up and wins the job. I think we're going to be ready.